Greetings and welcome to a new video. So here is a full guide on how to use downrain to downgrade your supported devices from any latest version of iOS 15 to any version of iOS 15 or to any version of iOS 14 without needing SHSH blobs and it will work without a jailbreak. You can use the same guide on Mac OS as well. So both Linux and Mac OS are supported. The method shown in this video is completely free. You can get downrain completely free from its official GitHub page as you can see it right here. Also, if you check out the commands, you can see that you can also jailbreak your downgraded device using Torin if you downgrade to iOS 14.3 as you can see right here or you can jailbreak with pogo by using this command you can check out the list of commands right here you will have to deactivate your passcode on a10 or a11 devices now for this video we will downgrade this iphone 7 from the latest version of ios 15 which is currently 15.7.4 down to ios 14.8 without sh sh blobs before you begin using downrain, you will have to install some packages. It is very easy. Also to make the dependencies installation process easier, you can use my downrain easy install from the pinned command or the description and then unzip it and you will see the install.sh. Now simply right click and open a new terminal here. Then type sudo bash install dot sh press enter type in your password if you have one press enter again and please wait here and it will install everything for you all right once done you will see all done here and now we can clone downrain now again head to the official get sub page for downrain and simply copy this whole from here now guys simply go to downloads and then open a new terminal here again and then type here git clone hyphen hyphen recursive okay and then simply paste it right here what you have copied and press enter this will clone down rain to the downloads folder as you can see it right here now guys first of all inside the downrain folder you will find this ipsw folder here you will have to paste the ipsw for the version you want to downgrade to now to get the ipsw you can head to ipsw.me it is also completely free and then select your device from here so i'm using an iphone and now scroll down and now select the device you have so i have this iphone 7 gsm variant now from this page you can get the ipsw you want so i want this ios 14.8 ipsw so i will tap here and then i will scroll down and then get it from here and you can see the ipsw for 14.8 right here now simply copy or cut it and then paste it in the ipsw folder for downrain and guys make sure that you have ample free space available as you can see i have about 16 gb free on this computer right now now simply again head to the official github page for downrain and you will see this downgrade command simply copy it from here then go to the downrain folder then right click and open a new terminal now at this point connect your iphone or ipad via usb and now simply paste the whole command right here also add sudo here and then you will have to type the version you want to downgrade so i want to downgrade to 14.8 so type your version accordingly and then you will have to trust on your device all right press enter and type in your password if you have one now here you will see that a ram disk is now being created so please wait 
the time depends on the speed of your internet connection now it will switch your device into recovery mode and then please put it into dfu just hit enter here and then just follow the instructions all right so there it is now it will start extracting the ipsw all right the ipsw is extracted and then it will start creating a ram disk this will depend on the speed of your connection as you can see it right here some files are being downloaded and after that it will boot the ram disk so you'll see some verbose text on your device so please be patient here now your device will reboot into recovery mode and then again get it into dfu mode by following the instructions now wait here for the process to complete all right guys so once this is complete the future restore will start to restore your device to the version you asked it to like for me it is 14.8 also guys here if you get any error like core dumped or segmentation fault what you will do is go to file system here and then go to the tmp folder here you will have to delete any dot js o and files or you will see this folder here that will show future restore okay just delete it and also delete the json files as i have told earlier if you are unable to delete the json files right click and open a new terminal now type as sudo rm hyphen rf and then simply drag the file in and then press enter the file will be deleted now back to down rain now simply hit enter here and the future restore will start all right here it will start extracting the file system from the ipsw that's why i said that please make sure that you have ample space so i have still about 10.2 gb available as you can see it right here now if everything is okay your screen will turn green and then you will see the apple logo and then eventually you will see the bar beneath the apple logo and eventually it will start sending the file system also if you see this error unable to receive message from ftr please don't panic let it complete this will complete all right guys so we are halfway in as you can see it right here all right as you can see restoring succeeded also guys if you see this error unable to send ibss component while using future restore for the first time just simply type yes and it will automatically rerun the future restore also now when restoring is succeeded your device will turn black it will turn off now to boot the device get it into dfu mode again because many people are confused that the screen is black it means dfu it's not now we will get it to dfu mode manually and then control c to break the operation then up arrow and here just type boot so the command is sudo dot slash downrain dot sh hyphen hyphen boot press enter type in the password if you have one and then the process for booting the device will start like you can see it right here no problems whatsoever so now booting device so please wait for the process to complete you will see verbus on your device now if you are doing this for the first time you will see the bar beneath the apple logo so now please set your device up normally this happens for the first time and then you will get the home screen for the first time for the firmware that you have downgraded to all right so guys as you can see we have successfully downgraded to ios 14.8 on this iphone 7 without blobs and you can see the home button works just fine no assistive touch whatsoever one thing to notice guys is that when you turn this device off or reboot it the device will again stuck into dfu mode or the black screen again get it into dfu mode and then you will have to run this boot command sudo dot slash downrain 
dot sh hyphen hyphen boot and this will boot your device again that's all for this video guys i hope this video is very helpful for you if you still have questions you can always ask me in the comment section and i will help you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself